So we've just dropped the kids at swimming, just in the building in the background there. And it's a lovely winter stroke spring day. So we just thought we would show you this area. It's um, renowned for being called Red Square. So I don't know if you can just... Mars Field, it says in there as well. Mars, Mars of Apollo. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's walk over there so you can see the name. It's kind of um, a big um, sporting complex. It's got a swimming pool in the building behind me. And then just where you can see the snow is there, there's like um, a running track. Football is played on there, basketball, volleyball. So yeah, it's quite a nice um, area this. It's one of our favourite spots. And we'll just walk a little bit further down. The Ural River is just behind us and it's a really nice um, kind of walk over to the um, quite a high vantage point of, of where the Ural River. So yeah, let's uh, let's go for a little bit of a walk. We've got the um, skis on the pram today, but it's um, it really is a battle at the moment. It's between spring and winter. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dripping off the roof of the building. So it's um, where the sun comes out sun is very very strong today yeah it's still still lovely we did have a little bit more snow last night so it's um it's all very white at the same time but yeah we thought we'd go for a walk with a little one whilst they're in the swimming pool so uh yeah let's uh let's do that yeah do you want to tell a little bit um about the area in we're in um there is um you can see a dome and a cross behind. <laughs> can, can you film that behind us? Um, that's um, seminary. Um, just behind there. Just yeah. behind there. And it was a flying school where Gagarin um, study, studied. And um, yeah, that's a reference to Martin's previous video about Gagarin in this region and uh, what he did in Orenburg, his time in Orenburg. Yeah. Yeah. And then there is also the brand new church. There. Can you see the dome? So the, the dome, dome in the background the, uh, as well. It's a yes. lovely church just um, just before the, the Gazprom kind of building on, on the main street. But yeah, it's a lovely area. It's peaceful today. Not yeah. many people. So I thought, yeah. So it's just... always quite quiet here, isn't it? Any, any time of yeah. year we go come here, it's always when, not many people around. In the summer, there's quite a few people usually um, using the football area behind us, the football pitch. But yeah, and this, I think, this red building here is it's a school isn't it yes this is like private school um yeah private school private school nice school i think they have um they also have kindergarten there by the looks of it yeah but yeah think, it's um yeah. Oh, still a bit slippy again <laughs> yeah. it's about minus four minus five but the sun now because it's just coming up to well pretty much the start of spring now it's actually really really strong and even at minus five is something that's really new to me it's kind of yeah like i just said the snow is melting in places off the film roof. film water there like, yeah. like from the from the drainage um, uh, rain the rain but it kind of um, it freezes there it's so funny falls off the roof and then freezes at the same time so yeah like i just said um it's a battle between spring and summer at the moment. Spring and summer, in the winter. <laughs> spring and, spring summer. and summer, spring and winter, there we go. I'm uh, yeah. getting all my seasons mixed up. But yeah, we wanted to walk down here because this is one of my favorite walks. I don't know if we can get I down don't think here. we can get through here today. Through here with the, um, with with the, the pram. pram. But I might just walk, walk us down. Do you want to stay? I yeah, I can down? stay, it's fine. Yeah. I'll um, flip the camera around and um, just show you one of my favorite walks. Um, in the city, like I said, it, it's um, a walk just a little bit further down from here and we'll get to the Ural. So yeah, I'll switch around and show you that. So yeah, I'll just show you um, the walk. So like we said, um, that's a lovely private school, but as you can see where it kind of gets its name or nickname from um, Red Square, because all the buildings are built in this lovely kind of brick. But um, again, this is a, uh, some of the architecture I love in Orenburg, all these, all these different kind of um, buildings. Some of them are new, some of them are old. I think this is a fairly new building, but just pan around where we started. It's a block of um, lovely flats as well, all with nice balconies. 
and at the top there it'll look right over to the Ural because the back over there um, the buildings in the further they've got a view of the Ural which I'll walk but it's also um, yeah lovely nursery or kindergarten whichever one you want to call that but um, yeah we always like walking this way even in the snow at the moment but yeah it's a little bit slippy <laughs> So like I said, the snow is uh, lovely, but it's kind of melting in the sun at the same time, so it can be a bit slippy sometimes. But look, on the top of it when it goes on the trees. Yeah. A little bit of a view. And yeah, I'll just walk up through here as well. This kind of mixture of um, pine trees, and I think they're silver birches as well. They look great. And this area here is like um. Uh, obviously play area for the children but in the summer they do have a fountain on the go here actually the kids were running through the fountain in the summer when it was like 30 30 odd degrees obviously it's switched off today and um, just in that area there is a nice fountain usually but yeah as you can see lovely um kind of architecture of buildings we'll get a bit better shot as i walk around on that yeah again they've done this this kind of park really nice so there's different pine trees or um, actually some different fruit trees and things like that in here as well but lovely kind of landscape in here but one thing I want to do is show you kind of the difference obviously it's winter or come the end of winter now so there's still the snow but I'll show you this in the um, in the summer as well show you the kind of contrast yeah that square there is a nice fountain yeah the kids like to come here and play on the um on all the uh children's playthings the slides and that lovely benches like i said it does get really warm in the um in the summer so it's lovely to have a little bit of a picnic up here as well this um this made me laugh when i first saw it a red what I would call a telephone box, um, being from the UK. It's actually, um, well, it hasn't got many books in there at the moment, but it's, um, it's like a library. People can come and, um, yeah, get, get like kind of um, borrow the books from in there, but there's not many in there. I think it's because it's winter and a bit wet, but yeah, that was just unusual because it reminds me of the old fashioned telephone boxes from the UK. And, the monument there is actually Peter the Great, so uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite an interesting monument. Yeah, I'll just show you the plaque. Peter the Great, a bit of Saint Petersburg there for you here in Orenburg. But yeah, I don't know. Again, you can see all the red red brick buildings. So yeah, that's where it gets its name from Red Square. Similar to what you have in Moscow. But as we come down now, believe it or not, that's the Ural River. And it is completely frozen. I'll walk this way because there's quite a good vantage point at the end, but path kind of zigzags down it's uh, quite interesting at the same time I'll pan that way so you can see the view a bit better but yeah all that in the distance in the middle of kind of the trees is the Ural River and it is still frozen even at the bit um, coming up to what the 10th of March it's still still frozen 
we'll just zigzag down a little bit more. But again, the reason why I want to show you this is because I think it's it's just such a lovely, lovely place to come, especially with the children. Like I said, it's always relatively quiet. It's peaceful. It's nice, fresh air. And it's just such a lovely view. And it was something I just wasn't expecting when I came to first came to Orenburg. It was um, to be able to see such a river running through the city and to have so many kind of things to do here as well. So probably people, um, I would say, skiing at the moment on the river, or yeah, there's a few people in the background, but it's that time of year where it's, um, I don't know, it's not that safe to, to go on the river anymore because it's kind of, like I keep saying, the battle between um, winter and spring at the moment so yeah it can start to melt the river now but yeah it's quite a view and then down there you've got a lovely lovely um play area for the children again and just in the distance believe it or not when the snow melts there's actually sand on the banks of the river there and they've created like a beach and you can go swimming in there and that's what we did in the summer with the boys but it's um yeah it's amazing and also there is a train track that runs down here. It's like a children's train. It's um, kind of a full-size train in, in a way, but it's operated the weekends um, by children. It's obviously not running today because it's full of snow, but again, it's something I'd like to show you in the summer and just show you the contrast. Yeah, I just thought I wanted to show you what a lovely viewpoint. I think if you look at the trees, if you went about 200 kilometers, carry on, you'd pretty much end up in Kazakhstan. And again, um, I don't know if you can just see the bridge in the background there. That's the Europe to Asia bridge. So one side is Europe, one side is Asia, which is quite interesting. just walk back up this way because um, the steps are a bit easier than zigzagging. I think the zigzags are better than used for obviously prams and wheelchair access. Oh, a bit slippy still. Just come up to the top and then you can kind of see park again. Lovely blue skies today, absolutely stunning. With the sun out, it's so bright with it reflecting off the snow as well. It feels, again, I always say this, it feels like you're on another planet with kind of this experience of the snow and the bright sun, sunlight. But yeah, spring is definitely on the way. So there we have it. So what I'll do, I'll stop the video and I'll just walk back to the wife, have a bit more of a conversation. So yeah, I've just got back um, to you and my wife and we're here just um, sat on one of the benches enjoying the lovely spring stroke winter sun. <laughs> But um, I think you wanted to say a few things, didn't you? Just... Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to mention um, something I forgot to say earlier that um, neither of this was here when I was um, when I left Russia. So it, it's all brand new, uh, and it, it was all built in the last, let's say, ten years. I would have thought so. So they developed this area very nice. Um, I'm not sure what was here before. To be honest with you, I never, never kind of. Um, wandered into into this side of the of the city but um yeah it's quite quite good uh what the what developers did in here um, nice yeah when yeah. when you first showed me um when we first got here i was i was quite amazed and obviously it's like oh it'd be nice to live here nice to live here but yeah <laughs> uh, i think it's one of the nicest nicest 
spots in the city centre, especially because it overlooks the river. And yeah. I just showed you the nice park on in the background. We take the children swimming. It's the swimming club. Yes. Yeah, it's actually not just a swimming club. It's a, um, a box, boxing school. Um, again, you know, brand new facilities and um, they have like um, some, yeah, we've seen some competition, fighting competition, like MMA style sort of fighting in there. And Well, we, we, like... we didn't specifically go to watch it, but it was just going on in there because, yeah, the, the MMA is quite big here. In, yeah, in and it's like kids from young age, you know, they're training to become to do like all this boxing and I don't know the types and uh, sorry like uh, the difference between them but it's like basically kids fighting in the ring and they practice and the training is quite um, quite sort of serious um, and yeah. they get yeah and I think different martial arts as well don't they yeah that's yeah, what well. I mean by boxing I mean like all yeah. sorts of uh, martial arts um i don't know the differences between mm. them you know the rules you know like some, in some places you're allowed to kick in other places you, you're not yeah. allowed to kick i don't know so. no but it was just interesting yeah. for me to see yeah. kind of what sports were going on in in russia just away from like your basic football and and things like that but it's um yeah there's there's a lot going on there and it's um yeah it's, it's relatively easy for us to get to um, it's not that expensive either, is it? So no, no. And what I like about this um, particular swimming club, you know, where my kids go to, is that um, so obviously professional trainer is uh, teaching them to, to swim, but um, there is no uh, commitment, so we could just um, turn up um, anytime we not any time i mean it runs on uh, saturday sundays and mondays so any of these days you know you could just turn up uh pay one off um fee and and they can swim uh, under supervision of a professional um professional athlete um swimmer so it's uh it's it's, it's great really I, I i like that because it's, it's quite hard to commit to anything you know like um when you have three children and it's like constantly one gets ill and never gets ill you know we like um still can't get get out properly isn't it so it's like yeah. we're at the stage when we when we can't really commit to any like kids clubs properly but um this format is, is is the best for us and especially that um swimming is so good for you in terms of um it's the best physical activity um i mean to um for, fit, yeah, fitness, for fitness yeah and for your um, spine and uh, after you had the whole week uh, of homework and um sitting at your desk but the, well the boys love it as well they <clears> love <throat> swimming don't they? like i said i just showed oh, them yeah. that it gives them then confidence to be able to go and swim in that lovely frozen um river and lakes that i just showed you because yeah it's um gets hot here in the summer so yeah it's gives them that confidence of being able to to swim um because yeah it's like i said it gets hot and i still can't believe it we're swimming in the same lakes and rivers that are, i've just shown you are frozen frozen over in winter so um yeah it's kind of why we're doing it isn't it but it's um yeah, yeah it's just for me to kind of say as well that um yeah it's great that what Russia kind of offers, and even Orenburg, the smaller city, in terms of sporting activities for the children. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's um, yeah, yeah, it's 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 really good. Yeah. But wow, that sun is um, it's amazing. It's it's rather hot. It's um, I think I've described it before. It's like we're on some skiing resort in the Alps somewhere, and it's that kind of bright sun with the snow. It's um, it's incredible. It's lovely. So yeah. It is, yes, and we're lucky with this snow today, and, and it's, it's so clean and fresh, you know, pure, you know, it, like you, you don't expect um, a clean snow in March mm. anymore, really, isn't it? It's like it start, a, starts to such, melt. such a great gift, you know, to yeah. wake up to a new blanket, a fresh, clean blanket of snow. Exactly. But yeah, it is lovely. So there you go. So we're just going to probably stroll back because the boys will be finishing swimming now. We might just get a shot of them coming out. But yeah, that's um, kind of what we wanted to explain today, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's kind of expromptu video again, isn't it? You know, we, we, we're not really planning our contact, to be honest with you. But we're just showing our life and what, what we find interesting, um, what we see around us, isn't it? Yeah, and, and like I've always said with the channel, through... The eyes of an English man, me being and his wife, <laughs> <laughs> English stroke Russian family we are. So yeah, yeah, it's um, it's exciting to us. It's um, interesting, and as we travel more, as the weather gets better, we'll show you more interesting places because that's really what we want to do with the channel. 
is um, just show you as many interesting places as we, as we can and, and things we're doing, the culture, the history, pretty much everything we find, um, well, great about Russia, great about Orenburg, great about the Orenburg region, and hopefully um, we can travel a bit further in the summer and, and show, you, show you more of this vast, vast, beautiful land, really, isn't it? Yes. Yes, and for me it's also as a, as new as it is for Martin in a way because um, I ha haven't lived here for 12 and a half years and um, everything changed so much. Um, it's like it's like a brand new place really. Um, I mean we've shown how much how much has been built, you know the whole districts you know been built even even in this city. I mean never mind Moscow and St. Petersburg is probably like unbelievably. Uh, like everything's changed completely and in terms of um, the way things operate as well um, like for example when I left they didn't have Gosuslugi as a platform electronic platform which you could use to like for everything you know I mean to book any service to get into any government queue uh, for any passport health any, anything for your for all your family basically you can control from this app um, so we didn't have any of that uh, when I left so so for me it's also everything is brand new so I also <laughs> kind of keep sort of uh, wondering and just being as amazed as Martin is yeah well and just what you said on the back of like St. Petersburg we first came there and I, I was amazed like obviously with the, the architecture in um, St. Petersburg but in the city centre and around here, some of the architecture is very similar, um, some of the Star Linka designs, which I really love. So mm. it was, I don't know, just kind of when I yeah, first got here, it was like, wow, this is quite a vibrant city. It's, it's not the smallest city, but it's not the biggest, but there's an awful lot going on here. And that's why we wanted to show you um, this video of one of our favourite spots in the city. And then also um, yeah, the sporting activities that are available here. Um, I don't know if yeah. you can just see yeah. the sign there, that shows some of the clubs, I think. Yeah, the yeah. Federation of Boxing of Orenburg region, I, I, can I just say a little bit, oh, you know, Orenburg was always, um, we, we have this box, a famous boxing school in here, and I think we had some champions being raised in, in here. My friend, <laughs> my childhood friend's dad, you know, was trainer, and he's still training in, in this, um, uh, like one of the oldest trainers and I know that he trained some champions in here so mm -hmm. you would have thought you know Edinburgh is something again you know something was like something smaller special. city but again you know there is some twist to it all is some twist well, yeah especially with the video I put out yesterday about Gagarin and the history of what he the links he has with this city it's like wow Orenburg not many people know of Orenburg but there's it has so many links with different things and it's interesting just to even kind of explore this city in yeah. itself so yeah so yeah but um okay i think so, um we're gonna stop there because the little one is yeah she i think she needs feeding so we'll pop her back in the car and then wait for the boys to come back out how was the swimming boys really fun mm -hmm. it was really fun swimming today george it was really good that's good you enjoyed it well done what was good about it good but yeah hope you enjoyed our little stroll um, please let us know in the comments what you think of that. Um, we've also got a great Telegram channel with um, over 200 um, subscribers in there. So we have some good conversations going on in our um, Telegram channel as well. The links will be in the description. And again, if you like our YouTube channel, please like, share and subscribe it as much as you can. It would be great to get to 10,000 subscribers in the next couple of weeks. We'll see you soon in the next video.